Welcome to the show. I'm Garrett, this is my partner Ethan, and we'll be giving you the goods. Some events coming up in Kent Galva is a Christmas concert on December 10th and a high school basketball game against Lions on December 11th. On December 14th, they play Harrington. On December 18th, they play Center. The junior high basketball team plays on the 13th against Peabody Burns. And then after all the games, everyone can, everyone can go home on Christmas break for some Christmas fun. Yes, indeed, we can have some fun over the Christmas break. Well, for sports here, it's been a good week here for Kent Galva. Uh, for starters, the junior high basketball team won last Thursday, the 29th, against Harrington. The boys' A team won 48 to 10, and the girls' A team won 18 to 52. So I don't know if we're really good or they're really bad. Now for the, <laughs> the high school sports review on last Friday, the 30th, high school boys lost 34-49, and the girls lost 35 to 50. That's all for our local sports, and now for something a little more national sports. The college football playoffs are set and ready. And it's planned to be a strong battle to get to the championship. Along with that, there are a lot of bowl games coming up, so there will be plenty of football to watch. And that's it for the sports report. Back to you, Ethan. Now for national news. A magnitude 7.0 earthquake struck just 10 miles north of Anchorage, Alaska last Friday. Tragic. No deaths or serious injuries have been reported, but the toll on infrastructure was massive. Luckily, the quake did not cause a tsunami, which would have caused much more destruction. Over 1,000 aftershocks over a magnitude 1.5 have been reported since. One resident of the city is saying, quote, There's a lot of infrastructure damage across Anchorage, and it will take time, but we will recover. In response to the earthquake, President Trump tweeting, To the great people of Alaska, you have been hit hard by a big one. Please follow the directions of the highly trained professionals who are here to help you. Your federal government will spare no expense. God bless you all. Now to international news. Well, for the international news, there's a body found as authorities search for an American who disappeared in Costa Rica. Again, tragic. Authorities in Costa Rica are searching for an American woman who went missing while on vacation. Although a body was found, but it has not yet been identified. The body was found in a wooded area near where young Carla Stefiniaka was supposed to spend her last night of, of her vacation at. They say the remains are that of a woman, but they have not yet been identified. Also, fluids found where she was spending the night have the same consistency of blood. She has not been heard of since Tuesday. And I think that's going to wrap up our news here, and we're going to take you over to the weather. Hi, I'm Garrett, and welcome to the Weather Center. Friday, we're going to look at a high of 34 and a low of 24, mostly cloudy. Saturday, you got, I don't know if there are any college teams play, but if they do, it's going to be pretty cold with a high of 34 and a low of 21, and mostly cloudy. You're not going to want to go outside, you might as well stay and watch them. Sunday, your favorite NFL team might be playing with a high of 38 and a low of 19. Mostly sunny, so still not going to want to go outside. Might as well just stay inside and watch those. Monday, and it's going to be a high of 44 with a low of 25 and sunny. Tuesday, I think this is our high of the week with um, 47 degrees and a low of 32. Mostly sunny. On Wednesday, a high of 44 and a low of 31 with some rain, so we'll get some precipitation. That'll be nice. Thursday, high of 44 and a low of 27, partly cloudy, and so mostly pretty cold week of weather, and that's all from the Weather Center.